Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video here we're going to review the 10 car set, new release, muscle cars from Hot Wheels. Alright, we're going to run down these uh, in order of 1 to 10. Pretty nice artwork on these. These are, um, they are a basic release but they're more of their, I guess, higher end. They're a little bit more expensive than their like dollar Hot Wheels. But the artwork on the cards is absolutely stunning as well as the artwork on the vehicle. The Tampa works. These are uh, metal body, plastic base, plastic tires. Not a premium, but you get a lot of uh, Tampa work with these. You got the Ford logo, two-tone paint job. Car has a beautiful stance. 410 horsepower. This one is the 64 Galaxy 500. Pretty neat uh, muscle car set here. Um, like I said, there is the uh, 10 cars in the set. Well, should we have the full set and we will take a look at them all. Number 2 of 10. It's going to be the 66 Ford 427 Fairline. These all have a nice clean look to them. Nice castings. The Fairline on the back fender there. 427. Nicely detailed and just, uh, you know, a, a nice um, muscle car that you'd see, you know, at your local car show or anywhere else for that matter. Just a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice vehicles. Number three of ten. Just going to be the 70 Pontiac GTO Judge. Look at the artwork, just stunning. Looks like it's doing a burnout. Got the big wing on the back. There is a spot for lights, but no tampo work there. No tampo work on the rear lights. Hot Wheels logo. You got the judge in the uh, side pinstriping there. No front lights either. This packaging you can see is a bit banged up. This was the only set I could find. They only had um, a, m a lot of these have damaged packaging actually. Number 4 of 10, the 69 Shelby GT500. Also, interesting artwork. Not a big fan of the rims on this one, by any means. But uh, it's a pretty cool convertible. This one does have rear tampos for lights. Done in a nice uh, light blue, which is pretty common for this vehicle. Pinstriping 428 on the hood. Convertible. Black interior. But yeah, those rims, uh, they gotta go. I don't think they suit that car at all. Number 5 of 10 is the 61 Impala. Now this is a pretty slick car. Definitely one of my, uh, definitely one of my favorites here. And the artwork, look at the artwork in the back of like a steel, steel mill. That's pretty cool. Nice plane. It's got uh, lots of graphics work on it, but it's very subtle. Good attention to detail on these. This one has a gray interior, but yeah, it's uh, it's pretty nice. Number six of ten. Seventy-two Ford Grand Torino Sport. This one's been around quite a bit uh, with Hot Wheels. Um, it's in their main line um, as well. Got a kind of a gold, uh, gold or copper rims there. Nice champ work, chrome interior, which matches the base. Or sorry, matches the um, the grill. I meant the base on this one is blue. But pretty nice, uh, pretty nice vehicle. It's got a good stance to it. Number 7 of 10. Got another scene from the steel mill. Pretty nice. 69 Mercury Cougar. Also a very popular muscle car. Just absolutely stunning. The rims on this one is pretty cool. You see the big big tires in the back and little ones in the front. That's a pretty cool look. But it, 
I like how they maintain that nice slammed look to it. It's definitely uh, pretty sick looking. But lots of lots of detailing. Black interior, chrome base. What we got here eight of ten. This is the '67 Pontiac Firebird. Nice artwork. This is a pretty popular car too. No rear tampos. It's got the uh, orange stripes there on the uh, rims. 67 on the door. It does have a, uh, a orange tinted type in, uh, windows there. A little different. Got no hood with a big chrome motor. Pretty cool. No front tampos. Black base. And a chrome interior as well which is going to be part of the motor looks pretty slick number nine of ten 70 camaro also a uh, pretty popular vehicle in the muscle car world no rear tampos done in a nice stunning green and i love that the uh all the tampo work that they did definitely matches the paint perfectly this one does have a yellow interior though not so sure you'd want to Yellow interior, I mean, I guess on a lot of the uh, early muscle cars, though, in the 70s, they did do, like, lime green interiors. I guess, maybe. Pretty nice. Chrome base. Even got a chrome front spoiler. Lower spoiler. Pretty cool. And the last one, number 10 of 10, is going to be the 7, the Pontiac GSX. Pretty, uh... Pretty rare one, you don't see many of these around. The GX on the back fender. Rims and uh, tires match this one quite well. A pretty cool tip work. With the subtle lines, the black. Goes pretty nice with the red. Chrome front end. Also has a black interior. Which it definitely, definitely matches this car quite well. I don't think the windows are tinted, I think it's just because the full interior is black. But yeah, all around uh, a pretty nice muscle car there. And again, if you want to pause on anything, that's the full set. The blurbs, all the backs are the same. These are 2019 release. Uh, these are pretty new in the stores, I'd say within the last uh, probably month or so. Uh, you could find this full set. It was a tough one to get, but... Um, and like I say, there was no extras. This is one complete set that was on the pegs that somebody thankfully left at least one. So hopefully everybody enjoyed. If you haven't seen these, um, definitely get out to your local Walmart. These were available at the only one I know of that had them. So thanks for watching. Bye.